violence against girls and women is a silent killer. A number of women in the world are facing different forms of violence that is really targeted at them. And the common one we would all speak about is the physical violence. And this, in some instances, is very acute, that women are likely to lose uh, different forms of their body parts. It could be your eye taken out. It could be deliberate scars that you live with for the rest of your life. And in worse situations, women can also lose their lives. We also have the emotion of violence, where maybe in a relationship, it could be your sexual partner, or even your friends, when they emotionally abuse you by the comments they make. It could be body shaming, but it could also be insults that directly uh, kill your self-esteem, your self-confidence, but also kill your self-worthness. On this World AIDS Day, as we all draw our commitments to end the HIV AIDS epidemic, it is the right time for policymakers, for community members, but also for us as civil society organizations to step up and protect the rights of girls and women, to ensure that every girl and woman out there is safe, is not experiencing any form of violence, because this is a key contributing factor to the increased number of HIV infections among the adolescent girls and young women. I therefore urge everyone, especially the policymakers, to develop but also design inclusive and comprehensive approaches that directly address social cultural norms that speed up violence on girls and women. And I am hopeful that could be a big strategy to ending violence against girls and women. Join us during the 16 days of activism to end, to speak out, and to fight violence against girls and women.